Fun fact: I can speak a few languages. 我学了中文学了大概六年的时间了。日本語も話せます。はじまね、韓国말ね、あちっちゃいもんだよ。But I'm tired of people correcting how I say things. So today I'm gonna be making my own language. Correct that one, Cheryl. <sighs> Time to get started. This is going to be a little bit difficult because I'm a beginner here. I don't have any experience in creating languages or know anything about linguistics. I just know how to learn them. But I have three tricks up my sleeve that I think could help even a beginner like me get to a language in no time. So for step one, we need to name the language. I'm thinking I particularly like it when languages end with I A N. You know, like Italian, Indonesian. I'm thinking subscription. That way, you remember to subscribe. Step two, we have to decide what type of language it is. You know, language isn't always just talking. Sometimes people will use different signs. Sometimes it's entirely written.、Uh, for our purposes, though, it needs to be spoken. And that's because the goal for today is to be able to give a small speech in my own language. It has to follow an actual system of sounds and grammar, so I can't just go up there and be like. <laughs> All right. So step three is sounds.、Uh, vowels and consonants are especially important here, and that's the case for all speaking languages, really. But it's important because sometimes these sounds aren't always the same. So, for example, we have a e i o u, but we might pronounce a as a. Whereas in Japanese, it's more of an a sound, a i u e o. And as I said, these sounds can't just be completely random. They have to work together in a proper system. I think linguists call this phonology. But a big problem here is I don't really know much about phonology at all. And this actually makes it really difficult because if I can't make this system make even a little bit of sense, I don't think this is gonna work. All right,、uh, I think it's time for trick number one. My first trick is a word generator. Basically, how the site works is I can manually decide the core vowels and consonants that I want to have in my language, and from there I can put in a pattern that will eventually generate a random list of words. Boom. Okay, so we got some words now. Now I just gotta find out how to use them and what they mean. So pretty much everything else. Okay, step four now is grammar.、Uh, I'm gonna be honest; I am completely terrified about this portion. It's difficult because linguists throw together these terms for how to study grammar that just make no sense, like tense auxiliaries, imperfective aspects, ergative absolutive, and I'm just like, yo. What happened to just using Duolingo? So basically, my problem is I need to come up with grammar without having to master all these terms and know all of the little details of it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get a degree in linguistics before I continue. To be honest, so I'm not sure if it'll work, but I gotta pull out trick number two. Trick number two is I'm going to model off of past grammar systems of languages, and not only will I be able to model off another language's system, but I think it'll allow me to simplify it as well and adapt it to whatever is easiest for me. I've studied three foreign languages: Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean. I've decided to go with Mandarin to model my language's grammar. All right, so now step five is translations. We're about to get some payoff here. I have written a speech in English, but I have to translate it now with my own language. And that translation also includes going through the grammar, making sure I'm using the right ones, and all of the other stuff we've been talking about. But we're missing one piece of the puzzle, which is that right now none of my words actually have a definition attached to them. So it's really just a bunch of sounds. Some people that like making languages, called the Kolan community, take a lot of time to come up with different words, and they even do interesting things like having words be related to each other and using similar sounds and everything like that. But we're gonna try to make this even more bare bone. That's why I think it's time for trick three. Which is I'm going to be using something called a Swadesh list. This basically gives a lot of the keywords and lists of concepts that I will need for most languages, and I can copy and paste it side by side to an Excel of the list of the words I've already created. So then, after some adjustments, I can now use this to make my speech. Si sikupa grant. Pani, kita pa pi? Si sika nuki, pani, kita sika tipa. Si nusu, mutu pa pani, pani, kita mika. 
You could be better at it. Kimmy.